there are some sporting people who do transcend, you know, transcend sport. And I have been lucky enough, you know, like Sheila, to, to interview some of the real, you know, David Beckham, for example, you know, every time I speak to him, he is properly engaging and he's charming and he's interested. He's not always interesting, but, you know, it's always, <laughs> it's always, you know, it, 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 instinctively you look forward to seeing the guy. Um, Roger Federer, I'm a huge fan of. Um, Usain Bolt, I once interviewed in one of those scrums in Paris. I just happened to be wearing a bright pink, bright pink, fuchsia? Salmon. Salmon um, <laughs> shirt. And I was in the middle of it. He wasn't going to do any interviews. He just won a, a race at the Diamond League in Paris. Uh, Paris, and I shouted, you say, you say, you say, BBC, BBC, and it sort of caught his eye and his ear, BBC and pink, and you know, and so he did, he did me an interview, and then a couple of weeks later, he sort of remembered my pink shirt, where's your pink shirt, when I saw him at Crystal Palace, which is, you know, kind of nice, and it does, it does make you feel a thousand foot tall when someone like Roger Federer or Usain Bolt remembers you, but I think, you know, just as inspirational, possibly more so, and this is an absolutely true story, uh, I tweeted about it yesterday, it happened uh, yesterday, on the Thames towpath by Barnes Bridge, and, and this is, I don't know if anyone knows, this is Women in Sport Week. Um, Sally, I don't know if you're having anything to do with it, but it's a great thing. It's just to sort of inspire people to take the first step, give it a go, women and girls in particular, um, and as part of the Radio 2 Breakfast Show, I think you know, we should be absolutely embracing that because you don't necessarily listen to Radio 2 if you love sport, so there's lots of people who don't. So Chrissy Wellington, the, the Ironman world champion, came on yesterday and just sort of planted a seed, just tried to make, you know, just suggest that people do give it a go. I see this woman, and, and this almost sort of happens in a dream, this made my week. She's hanging off the, the, the barriers, out of breath, are you all right? Yes, turns out she was going for her first ever run that day, because of something she heard Chrissy Wellington say on Radio 2 that morning, she didn't know who I was, um, and she actually didn't know who Chrissy Wellington was, but she said, I just heard something on Radio 2, and it just made me give it a go. And I just, it made me, you know, I was, I was like that once. You know, it's funny how, you know, we talk about sport, us people who do, and we are unhealthy and overweight often, and, uh, you know, smoking frequently, and I was, you know, I was that guy, and... It was that first step that, that took me, and I'm, I'm really kind of evangelical about this, um, about how, what, what a difference it makes. Just the, the first step, I'm working with this, with this charity, Skill Force, who, um, who put usually ex-military people in, in schools to try and inspire underprivileged kids, but we're also going to try and just put these Skill Force races, one mile, two mile, three mile races into schools in underprivileged areas to try and just get people to get a bit kind of proud of themselves, a bit, a bit, a bit involved, and you know, the, well, another very quick story, and then I'll hand over to Sally. But um, I'm on my way to Five Live one day, I think it was probably, you know, in the, in the days we did the breakfast show together, and I played golf. And so, so my shirt was unusually for me tucked into my trousers, and I just noticed this sort of, sort of flop of kind of fat. And I thought, well, that's obviously not me because I'm not fat, but what is, you know, what is it? And I phoned my wife, who we've been with together, and she's, you know, she's very nice. And um, <laughs> she here. <laughs> um, and she would no, never normally uh, hurt my feelings. And, and um, I said, Caroline, am I getting fat? Mm, well, I thought, well, you know, I am. So I had the sort of choice: do I, do I keep eating what I want? And you know, someone who has still and definitely had at the time a sort of mild addiction to frazzles. That wasn't appealing. <laughs> you know, I, I want to continue eating what I want. Or do I? You know, start exercising, or do I um, do uh, do what Steve Bunce, the the boxing journalist, once told me on a on a late night drive back from Oxford? He goes, "Vass, I'm getting older, I'm getting uh, fatter, and I'm getting happier." <laughs> <laughs> 